Well, um, good news here. Seems like the cold snap has finally subsided for more. Let's go live to our Yi Hyun at the Weather Center. Ji Hyun, things surely have warmed up this afternoon. I'm so glad. Hello, Gonyong. Yes, I'm glad too. Cold wave alerts have been lifted in most parts of the country, but we should continue to drink that water as the dry weather advisory is still in place here in the capital. Right, and Jin, uh, as you said, Ichun, which is uh, the beginning of spring, that's uh, tomorrow already. It is already, right? Uh, Ipchun, which marks the first day of this spring season, falls on tomorrow. And living up to its name, it's going to be a mild Ipchun day tomorrow with daily lows starting out at minus 4 degrees Celsius here in Seoul, which is slightly above the seasonal average. And uh, mostly sunny skies are expected across the nation, including here in Seoul. So on that note, let's move on to tomorrow's temperature readings, ticking on the lows first. So while here in the capital starts out at minus 4 degrees Celsius, Daegu will kick off at minus 3 and Busan and Jeju will have a positive morning low kicking off at 1 and 3 tomorrow morning. And much milder daily highs are expected with a high peaking to 4 degrees Celsius here in Seoul, 7 for Daejeon and Gwangju, 6 for Daegu and Busan and Jeju will see a high of Eight tomorrow afternoon. Now the Lunar New Year's holiday starts this weekend with a drop in temperature in store for a Saturday, but weather-wise, it's going to be a pretty mild Lunar New Year's holiday. Even Wednesday, the daily high here is whole will peaking to 10 degrees Celsius, but we do have rain in the forecast on Monday for upper parts of the country, including here in Seoul. Now that's Korea for you, and here's a look at the weather conditions around the world.